Hey, today we're going to learn uh, how to apply Shiba paint sticks to your quilt. This is a quilt that's already been finished, it's already been completely quilted, and now I'm applying Shiba paint sticks at the very end. So let's get started. We're going to paint two rays, and this quilt is designed in such a way that I like a very distinct difference between one color and another. And in order to make sure that none of the color, or none of the two colors overlaps each other, you use masking tape. So I'm going to tape off this ray right here. What I do is just take some tape and apply it right at that edge. Now inside curves you're going to have to kind of put some pleats in the tape or you're going to have to cut several small pieces of tape and overlap them. And then you want to run your finger right along the edge of that tape to make sure it's completely bonded with the fabric so that you're not going to get any paint from this ray on this ray. So I'm just going to very carefully go around this entire ray with the tape and then I'm going to show you how to actually use the paint sticks. Now we're ready to start applying our paints. We're going to use Shiva paint sticks. Um, they're in stick form, they're about six inches long and you can find them at any major art supply store. And the first step is to take off the outside skin that forms around the paint stick. And I do that using a uh, just a grocery bag over the trash can. But you want to get all that off so that way you can actually get down to the paint stick part. And um, Also you want to use a stencil brush. This is a brush made specifically for paint sticks. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this ray look identical to, the, to this ray with the orange center and the red border and they're going to kind of feed into each other with this kind of air, airbrushed effect just like that. So the first step is to load up your paint stick on the stencil brush and the reason we taped off is so that way we don't have to worry about any of the edges so I'm just going to really roughly apply this very quickly and you're going to get kind of little balls of lint that mix with the paint that kind of come up and you just want to have a piece of cloth on top of your quilt to be able to rub those off on whenever they happen. You, just, you can apply this as lightly or as darkly as you want. I'm going for a very matte effect. I want the uh, ray to be completely covered but I could I could choose to make this very light. See how light that is? It would still show my stitching. I could leave it just that light and it still looked just fine. But I want this to actually be very dark orange. It's important to use the right kind of brushes. Um, I've used many different types of brushes with paint sticks and these with the short, very strong bristles are the ones that work the best. If you use the other ones that have the longer bristles that come out to here, they just don't work. They're just too cheap. There we go. That's all the orange applied to the inner ray. And that looks really good to me. That looks like it's completely covered. There might be a couple spots that need a little bit more work. I'll just kind of go over it and remember that your tape is there so that way you don't get any of the orange on the other sections that you don't want that color on. So now I'm going to pick up my second color and this is a darker red and I'm going to kind of blend this one in but when I load up my paint uh, paintbrush the first time it's really dark so I'm going to start in the really dark sections right on the edges that's where I want it to be really dark and then as my paintbrush gets empty, I'll kind of start blending that in with the orange and filling that, that inner area in. Make sure that you have your muslin cloth so that way you can wipe it off whenever you get those lint balls on it. Now we're just going to fill in with the red.
Now I peel off the tape and that leaves a perfect outside edge. Just like that. So that's how you paint a finished quilt with paint sticks.